Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're at Open Compute Project Summit. It's a mouthful, it's in Santa Clara. It's a 2017 version. It's basically really about the open source spec that was originally part of the Facebook data center spec that they opened up to everybody and now you've got all the hardware manufacturers, power supplies, fans, everything you can imagine is here because this is really where they build clouds. This is the thing behind the wall of somebody else's computer. This is where they're building them. So we're excited to talk to Gary Smurden. He's a president and CEO of TitleScale. Welcome, Gary. Thank you, it's great to be here. Absolutely, so there's a lot of big companies here, right? But really the innovation, as we all know, comes from startup. You got a startup, so tell us a little bit about TitleScale for the people that aren't familiar with the company. Yeah, so TitleScale, we're doing software-defined servers. Now, software-defined, that's a pretty common term out there, but software-defined servers is new and it's important, right? We view it as the final missing piece in the software-defined data center. Now, the core of our technology is the ability to take one, two, three, five, ten, even a whole rack of servers and get them to operate as one virtual server. So think of it as kind of the inverse of VMware. VMware, you take a server and you cut it in a bunch of small pieces. Right, right. We are the inverse of that. We take one, two, three, or more, and then to get them to operate as one system. So essentially, we can give you the server of tomorrow today by combining kind of standard commodity servers. Okay, so what are the applications where I would want to bring them together and operate them as one? Yeah, great question. So there's many applications, but think about big data. In big data, you never have a server that's big enough, right? So we can give you the size of the server that you need. So today, what you have to do is essentially you have to take your data and break it into a bunch of pieces, that's humans that have to do that, spread it over a bunch of machines. We allow the server to be sized to the data. Interesting, so uh, a little bit about the company, kind of where are you in your growth, um, delivering product, POCs, give us a little, uh, a little background. Yeah, so the, the company was founded in 2012, really got going in 2013. Okay. Dr. Ike Nassi came out of retirement. He had done many things in his career, including being the chief scientist and EVP at SAP when HANA and In Memory was all kind of created, okay, and the focus on that. So he founded the company, was able to pull together an amazing team, and from there began to work on and build the technology. Last year we began shipping our first product. Okay. So we're actively in POCs with partners, with customers, and uh, really looking forward to taking this broadly into the market. So what brought him out of retirement? You said, we talked a little bit off camera, he solved a lot of hard problems. Is it just a technological problem? He couldn't sleep at night? Why, why you know, yeah. tackle this really hard problem? Yeah, so you know, basically, he had a long career working with folks like Gordon Bell, very famous, you know, the, the father of the VAX and the mini computer. A lot of other things, headed up all the software at Apple. And then the experience at SAP kind of put it all together. When he retired, he realized, my gosh, there's actually something that can be done that's different in how a server is, is really conceived. Uh, we were talking about it. VMware was one of the final, kind of the last big innovations in server technology. We view that this is the next wave, software-defined server. Yeah, it's interesting because where we hear a lot is the software-defined mantra now being applied to networking, right? Software-defined networking, because people said, you know, the compute's already been done, there's a lot of work happening on the storage, now the shift is really on, on the networking side. But what you're saying, there's a whole nother opportunity, another, another iteration on the compute side to bring a new level of innovation. Sure, and this is all really complementary. Software-defined storage, software-defined networking, software-defined uh, you know, it can be uh, as far as the management, all of that is very complementary. But the final piece that hasn't been, uh, you know, software defined or really mobilized yet is the server itself. And that's the core of our technology. And if you think about it, in the modern data center, that's actually the biggest spend is on the servers. So sometimes you need a small one, sometimes you need a big one. And we have the agility and the ability to basically to size it to the, to the requirement of the data. Right, and is, and is the use case where you would be dynamically changing that based on the particular workload, or is this something you set and forget, and now you've got this super Mondo server that's, that's dedicated to a particular type of task? Or are you, are you spinning them up and spinning them down depending on what kind of your demand is? So we can do all of those things, but a very typical case is, is that somebody comes and says, I need this size of a server, right? And so then at that point, you can basically select how many physical servers, one, two, five, and you add up all the memory, all the cores, all the I.O., all of that is what is represented up to the operating system and the application. So, and that can at boot up basically in about four or five minutes, you're up and running with the server of your dreams. Wow, and what's kind of the overhead, you know, what's, what's your loss in terms of 
the management overhead of multiple from as a percentage of you know, the individual sum of those parts? Yeah, so it varies a little bit by application, but a typical number when you look at virtualization is people talk about about a 5% kind of uh, you know, overhead associated okay. with virtualization. So that's where we start. In some cases, it, we are actually able to outperform what a bare metal system would be able to do. And again, when you're able to create a system that where everything can be put in memory, that's how you get high performance in the application. Right, right. So before I let you go, and it sounds like a great story, look forward to learning more, but your impressions on the show here. You know, it's interesting, up in the city today, you know, SAP's on stage with, with Diane Green talking about HANA on, on OCP, which is pretty amazing. But down here, this is like the nitty gritty. This is, this is I feel like I'm in the steam room, you know, with, with, with Scotty. This is where they're actually building this stuff. It's not abstracted behind the layer, which is what all the customers up in the city are buying. So just your impressions yeah, well, of the show. This, this is a, first of all, this is a really exciting show. I was at the very first OCP kickoff that took place at, S, at Facebook. So this is a, a great place where a lot of the kind of the, the best and brightest in the industry get together, right? And that includes developers, it includes partners, and uh, you know everybody come together. So it has a buzz about it, it's great to be here, and, uh, and we think this is a great place to really be talking about what we're doing with software defined yeah. servers. It's great. I actually saw Mark Shuttleworth standing over by literally by the water cooler <laughs> before we went on at Chris right on. So you're right, there's a lot of big smart guys that yeah, are here. Yeah, and it's guys like you know, you know, Canonical with Ubuntu, that runs on top of a software defined server without any modification. So we run that, we run Red Hat, we run Windows, all of that runs on top of it. And that's a big part of the ease of use that is, uh, is what really end customers are wanting and needing. All right, well Gary, thanks for taking a few minutes of your day. We'll be keeping an eye on you and, uh, and title scale and watch your growth. Great, hey, appreciate the time. Absolutely. Thanks. He's Gary Smurden, I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching theCUBE.